Island is now lifted. The Department of Health lifting that alert today. This is in addition to the other beaches you see right here on your screen. Great news, just in time for spring break. Now officials say FWC testing shows low levels of red tide and in some cases, no red tide at all. There is still a caution, however, still in effect for Kixambas Pass and South Marco Beach. 503 want to give you a live look overlooking the Caloosahatchee in downtown Fort Myers. Yeah, and you can see it is a beautiful day out on the water. We do know, though, red tide has been plaguing many of us for weeks now. Let's go ahead and bring in certified meteorologist Katie Walls, who's been saying it's all dependent on where the winds are. Exactly. Directly along the coastline, that's what we're really focused on. So for those of you wanting to head to the beach tomorrow morning, that's going to be the best time frame regardless of where you're located because we'll be seeing at that point winds out of the south and east. So anytime we have an offshore wind, whether it's out of the northeast, the east, the southeast, that's what I'm talking about. So in the morning, we'll see those southeasterly winds before the afternoon. In some cases, they will become southwesterly. And depending upon the orientation of the beach where you're headed, that could mean that we see some elevated red tide concentrations blowing on shore for the afternoon. So I'm specifically focused on what could be in the air that might cause some of that irritation. So South Marco Beach, for example, head there in the morning because from 11 a.m. onward, we could see more of those moderate concentrations blow on shore. Meanwhile, heading to Naples Pier, likewise, after 2 p.m., that's when those concentrations also could be increasing. A little farther up toward the north, Little Hickory Island Park Beach, also expecting those moderate concentrations from 11 a.m. onward, but in the morning, right around 8 a.m., with that offshore flow, that's going to be the best time frame for you. Unfortunately for Sanibel, because of the orientation of Sanibel, we are expecting those moderate concentrations throughout the day.